You guys, I just figured out that I can record 1080p at 60 frames per second. Look how... What? I can't... I have the hiccups also. I have been trying to figure out how to do that for so long, and I couldn't figure it out. And I just did in like 30 seconds, because I was trying to figure out the lighting in here. Look how smooth. Yes! <laughs> And today I am filming a Christmas haul video because it has just been the Christmas and now it's time for a haul Obviously <laughs> today. I am gonna be showing you guys um, some things that I have gotten like leading up and throughout December and then my Christmas -iness. So I have a lot of stuff here with me because like we discussed in our last haul video Jill may or may not have a small spending problem It's okay though because I don't have responsibilities right now so much as well, like my metabolism, take advantage of it and use and abuse until I can't. <laughs> Everything that I talk about today will be linked down below so that you guys can find it, unless it was something that I got like one time offer only. Also, I'm wearing my merch. If you want to buy it, you're welcome to. That link will also be down below. First things first, don't look at it. Stop peeking. I ordered this off of Facebook because everything is cheaper on Facebook because it's all either used or overstocked. Mountain horse, can you see her? Wow! And then we have this label. <coughs> it's pretty cool. Really big crew jacket. It's poofy or a bomber jacket. I don't know. Highly recommend. Very warm. Much warm. Much heat. As a lot of you guys know that Follow my Instagram. I'm really sorry about the hiccups. I work with Equine Omega Complete. They have these awesome oil containers and they even come with little cups. They usually come with a pumper. We're doing an experiment on Bubbles to have her on it for two months, uh, which that information will be out in a Vlogmasy vlog. And I'm sorry that that is not up in time. I still have two more that have yet to be edited and I'm just like, Ugh. but I want to get this video up first while it's still semi-relevant semi and a lot of people have been requesting it. I'm really sorry that Vlogmas is like, I wasn't able to keep up with it. I've just had so much going on. Sucks. I got stuff to do, but I'm gonna get it done, so never fear. It's just gonna be a little late. So anyway, I'm gonna take a break and try and fix these hiccups. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, I think I'm good. I fixed it. Um, I have a secret to it. You just inhale all the way like... And then exhale until you can't, and it always fixes my hiccups. Don't know about yours, but you should try it next time you get hiccups. So the next thing is this. This is a Danielle Wellington watch and their cuff. You know what? I don't know which code it is because I have a bajillion to keep up with, so I'll just put it down here. There's information, and uh, you can get some serious discounts, and it'll be great. So the next on my list, a pair of Godo breeches. These are the Adina breeches, I believe. They are absolutely stunning. They have this lovely butt curve that just accentuates your lady parts. I just think they're awesome. They even have some like grippy up here on your waist. It just like helps your pants not slip down. And then they're full seat and very grippy. I love them. They have stretchy at the bottom. Following that, we have a Godo jumper pad. I think this little like design, the diamond with the lines is awesome. It says Godo on it. It's got a really nice mesh underside and then it has a mesh spine. I did a lot of shopping on Black Friday, so that's what most of this is from, but I bought these breeches. These are Be Vertigo white breeches um, because I am really hard on white breeches, apparently. I just keep messing mine up and they just look disgusting and not show ready. So we have these and they're really, really tall in the back um, and they have this little V, so like hopefully when you bend over, they don't just like poke out like ton of breeches do. Ba -de -de -da -de -de. Right here, don't mind my nails. It said it wouldn't chip and it totally lied. But you can see all the little grippy. Have those, those are beaver to go. Got them on sale. And I also got these on sale. These are inside out. So these are a pair of horse leggings. Um, <laughs> LOL. Um, they have the same grippy on the back. It's not quite as prominent as these white ones and I've noticed it is sort of rubbing off. I've ridden them like three times and the grippy is sort of rubbing off but you get what you pay for. But the waistband is really tall and wide. Um, I think I used these in my first Vlogmas vlog, I believe. Um, I think that they're a really, really flattering color. So next I have a pair of Cavalry open front boots. Like, I really like these more than the Professional's Choice version. Um, because if you see this, again, don't mind my nails, they're super gross. Um, but you can see this little thing here, it like doesn't bend and it's like really on whatever you call that, the like carbon fiber, I don't know. 
Now they're really, really nice. They say Cavalry across the front. They have like gold detailing in the back and this is a really nice strike plate. I think that these are super high quality. The Amazon website, it looks totally like these boots are just photoshopped onto an already moving horse. So I know it looks a little sketchy, but I promise you they are really, really high quality. As a lot of you know, I first used the Cavalry gel half pad, but then when I was at a clinic recently, the FEI level judge rider instructor was like, yeah, gel pads are like, what? on the horse's back when you're riding, so probably not the best thing to use, so I've since removed that video and let you guys know my thoughts on that. Also, the gel pad kind of like fell apart after a while, but you know, it's okay. I sold it on Facebook. <laughs> Regardless, they do have really high quality products and they are reliable, so Next up are these two t-shirts by TKEQ. Um, they both say TK, TKEQ on the back it says Game Face. They did a whole interview on me um, on their website, I believe, and it was all for this Ride Like a Girl campaign. I didn't see the shirt on their website, but I could very well be wrong. So but this one is certainly up on their website and they're very cute. Not 110% my style, but I think that they'd be really cute barn shirts um, to wear in the summertime. So that's nice. So next are the EIS shirts, Equa and Style. They are super high quality and wow, oh my God, have they revamped their products because last time their like quality was so-so in the sleeves and they like were too short for my arms and just felt kind of awkward and didn't really like shape your body, if you know what I'm saying. And these are so nice. They're so smooth on the outside and they have like this really awesome feeling on the inside. Honestly, it feels a little bit like the mesh on these boots, but for people and tighter knit and like, I just, they're so high quality, and this has honestly been one of my favorite shirts because it's so freaking nice. Here, I'll get you a little, little close up in there. It's very nice. I'm very happy with them. Now, I cannot thank them enough for sending those to me because, wow, are they nice. I also got these Ovation, I think, Milano breeches in the color eggplant. They're really, really pretty. I think that they're stunning. I got them from Tack of the Day and I love them. Okay, so next up, I will actually be doing a full review video on these, so I'm not gonna like touch on them too much. I got the chance to ride in these before it was Christmas time, so I have already filmed a review video on them, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about them anyway, and then that'll just come up later. Okay, cool. So <laughs> some new American Equus irons that are absolutely freaking stunning. They are really, really upgraded from the last pair, and then these are the dress irons and I am like blown away by the quality and these are so freaking light rude if you guys want to see more in close-ups and nice fancy artsy dramatic ah, shots then um, you'll just have to hang around for my uh, review video stand up please God it'll be up in a few days I hope I'm just gonna like try and crank out videos and then get them up for you guys because I've been slacking so uh. Next, I have my Mattias pad. I did buy this this December after my clinic with Cindy Thaxton and she was like, the gel pad, not my fave. Try a Mattias pad with wool shims and it'll help your saddle fit better because it's a little too wide up in front. So it'll help lift the saddle and then it'll put you in the right position and it'll lift it up off of Zoe's withers. And it comes with shims. I bought it from equusnow.com. It's, it's like 320 bucks. Like this was ridiculous. I had previously ordered their gold collection, which has like a yellow wool underside. And my trainer was like, ew, send that back. And I was like, mm, okay, but it was cheaper. So I sent that one back and bought this one and they sent me like a $15 off coupon and the website was having a sale. So I got this for the same price as the gold one, which is just like, Good job. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Mattis, ha the Mattis Half Pad. Oh my God, I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. Mattis Half Pad, um, it's really nice fleece. I could sleep on this. And I currently have one shim in there that's working for Zoe right now. Two was too much, as you guys saw, and I think Vlog missed two. She was a nutcase and she was so uncomfortable. It was because we had two shims in there. And so I took one out. The saddle still doesn't fit like I want it to. So I'm just gonna take all of my shims that came with my half pad, then have a saddle fitter check her out at our next show to see if we can like try and get a better fit. Why do you feel crinkly? Don't crinkle. Next up on our list is this ha paddle pad paddle. Ooh, it's a hat saddle pad. It's an OTTV saddle pad. I ordered this bad boy from tackoftheday.com, which is a godsend. Wow, she is stunning. I ordered this from Whores as well um, with those breeches and um, it's my favorite color. Of course, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's more 
purpley red. It's nice on the underside. I've already ridden in it once and it's not not very dirty, which makes me happy. So yes, there's that. Um, from ECS Equestrian Boutique, I received these two necklaces that are little bit necklaces. I think that they're super cool. Thanks. They're chokers. Maybe you can see it if it focuses on my face. Thanks. So they're super cool. This one is gold and turquoise is a little gold eggplant. Went out and bought a pair of thinning shears for my local tack shop. They don't work, it made me sad. I bought a bit key chain thing for my for my key fob. It's nice, it's real nice. Clink, clink, that little snapple bit. I also bought this brush, which does not work because literally you can pull out all of its hairs. It makes me sad because it leaves white hair all over my horse and that's not what I asked for. I asked for a brush, okay? Not a dust maker. So bought this. It's a core steel um, bevel bit. Right, it's core steel, right? No, it's not. <gasps> I've been lied to. So I don't know what brand this is. I think it's core steel though. I bought it off of Facebook because where else would you buy it? Like 18 bucks. I just wanted to like find something that worked for her for cross country. I just needed a little more whoa, well, <laughs> cause we didn't really have it in the just the regular D ring. I rode in something like this before, <laughs> but I think with adrenaline and her being like, nah, let's go on cross country that this will be the perfect fit. So <sighs> rock on. Something else that I bought because well, I should save this still later. Okay, let's save it. So I also bought this from tackoftheday.com. It's a burgundy bonnet. But as you can tell, these ears are huge. They do not fit my mare. What am I to do? So if anybody wants this, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'll sell it for like 20 bucks and you pay shipping and there we go. Um, because it's really pretty and burgundy, but my mare's ears are not this big. <laughs> like, it did not fit one bit at all. I have... This Roma saddle pad. Love these type of saddle pads. They're goofy circles. I bought this from Tack of the Day as well. Very fancy. I don't need to talk about billion saddle pads. I don't know why I have so many. Like, really need to stop. And then I bought this one because how could you not buy this? It has a sticker over the sticky to keep your saddle from moving. So I'm just gonna leave that on there for now. And then it has like a leather or plastic, pleather, I don't know what it is. Like billet guard so your saddle doesn't rip. It's just so nice. And then it has ooh, a weather beta logo down here as well. And then it has the mesh up top. Like, I'm just impressed. And it even came in a bag that has the weather beta on it. Weather beta, weather Buddha. Now with it being Christmas time, actually Christmas time has passed, but since we're reshifting gears into me talking about stuff that I got for Christmas, it's time to change. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Want to see it? You ready? Boom! <laughs> it's a German Shepherd! And do you know why it has a German Shepherd on it? I'll tell you at the end of the video, okay? It's really exciting. We'll start with the big stuff, all right? My sister bought me sweatpants, only they're not. They're called Fijays. So apparently they have really nice fuzz on the inside, but they're called Fijays. For your feet. We played Dirty Santa, and I got a scarf, so it works as a blanket. Okay. Then my coach got me <laughs> these cute little unicorn socks and they're fuzzy. I don't know what it is with people buying me socks and wanting my feet to be covered, but it's happening. They have like little traction-y things on the bottom. Then I got these! Oh no! It's not in there! I also totally just ripped this. You would think with being as expensive as you are, you would not just rip right open. You were already ripped. Vespucci! I'm disappointed, thoroughly. I bought a Vespucci bridle, which hopefully will not look like this forever. So I got myself a Vespucci bridle. My mom gave this to me for Christmas. It is stunning. This wide nose band looks awesome on Zoe. It, um, it's not a crank, but it like wants to be. Um, but it, it does have like a jowl cushion, which makes me happy because Zazu is very sensitive. And then I have my dressage bit on it, which is a niche really demi Yankee, I believe is how you pronounce it, probably not, okay, cool. I just, it excites me because I wanted a nice bridle, which means I will probably be selling my old dressage bridle pretty soon. So if any of you know of my Royal Sports Wave dressage bridle that I always get asked about, I will probably be selling it at some point in the near future um, because it doesn't fit bubbles and I really have no reason to have it. Next, we'll start with stocking stuffers. So my mom bought me this really, really soft pair of socks because I love American Eagle socks. They are so soft and they're my favorite color, of course, which will probably end up being cross-country socks because, you know, look. My mom got me this 
um, goat milk soap from a local lady in Arkansas. It smells really interesting. It's called honey and oatmeal. I don't know how I feel about it. Can you smell it? It has hair stuck to it from being on my floor. Then I got some chap stick. It's a sticky chap, you know? I also got my favorite candy, which I don't know why, like I'm such an old lady, but my dad also got me um, this like little alarm projector thing. It like projects the time onto your ceiling as well as the um, temperature outside, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. It's a little projector. He also got me this, which is a laptop desk table for your bed. And then it, your laptop says, I can't go anywhere. It has a little air vents and, oh wait, what? Those are fans. Oh, snap, it has a fan. To... I did not know this. Probably find the charger or the like plug-in. Um, but yeah, it's little legs like move around and they're adjustable and kind of really difficult to deal with, but it's okay. I also got this chocolate, it's green and blacks. I don't know what that means. It's sea salt's pretty good, dark chocolate, sea salt, I love it. But anyway, the reason that we wear the Shepherd of the German is because I'm getting a dog. <laughs> so I have a quick story to tell and I will probably tell it again um, when I actually get the doge. I have wanted a dog for the past few months. I never thought that I would like actually get one, you know? And so I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna commit to this. And so I pestered my mom and dad for a few days until they were like, you can't even do this or that. And I was like, wanna bet? And they were like, you know what? Fine. And so <laughs> I, we like made a bet, I guess, or like an agreement. And I typed it all up on my computer and everything that I had to make my bed every single day I had to empty the dishwasher when it was done, no dishes in my room whatsoever, and um, to like get all my horse stuff and keep it out of the rest of the house, like just help my parents with stuff that they needed, essentially be a good child, you know, clean the litter box, like do things that I should do. But I've gotten better now because I was, I was told that it would be a four month agreement. I had to do this for four months to prove myself. And then as Christmas started approaching and I had been, I've been at this since November 21st, and I was like, that's a really long time. Like I'll do everything, like I'll do all this stuff. It does make me feel better. Like have my bed made for whatever reason. I don't really know why, but like, and just to like have things done and clean and like feel like I don't have to wait on my parents to yell at me to do something again. And like to just already have done it. It does feel a lot better and a lot less stressful on everybody, I think. So I don't mind helping out, but I was just like, three more months is a really long time to wait. And then I was like, okay, I will be f like, just so you guys know, I will be financially responsible for the dog. Um, I am adopting cause I'm not a jerk. Sorry if you buy dogs from breeders, but you're a jerk because three million dogs are put to sleep every year in kennels and shelters. And you should definitely adopt because you can save a life instead of buy one and encourage people to breed, you know, because there are tons of dogs that are being put to sleep. I, you know, and there are arguments for everything, but why wouldn't you want to save something that's about to die, you know? I have had my eye on this little dog. Well, it's not really a little dog, it's a German Shepherd. I've had my eye on her like two weeks now and I just kept seeing her and then I was like, I would always scroll through her pictures and I was like, mm, I really like her. I should probably, yeah, that's, I think that might be the one that I want. And, um, and she's a girl and she lives in Texas and I don't mind driving, it's only like five hours away. So I'm gonna try and make my friend Taylor go with me and if she doesn't want to, then I'm trucking down there by myself because my parents are away in Boston right now uh, with my sister and her kids and everything like that. So, you know, I'm just like gearing up for this. <laughs> I don't know if this dog is actually gonna work out because um, they have to like call my vet and everything with it being Christmas. I don't know how like, cause they're all in like foster care and, and I don't know like how it's gonna work out with everybody's schedules and how long it's gonna be, but hopefully I'll hear back within the next few days. We'll know if my adoption application got approved. Um, but anyway, like, having like oh, a doge and then when I opened my stocking this is what my mom put on it <laughs> when this was in my stocking with this little ball I was just like oh no way and so hopefully I will be making a trip down to Texas very soon and you bet you I'm gonna vlog it I don't care if it's not horsey you guys can get over it it'll be exciting and fun and I think like I've already ordered so much dog stuff so I'll have like that haul too for some of you that are like interested in dogs or whatever and you can watch that because I will make it entertaining I promise but I'm just so excited I literally cannot believe that 
I can finally, finally, finally have a dog because I have never had one. We had dogs before, but they just like were my dad's police dogs and work dogs and it's just eh. And so I'm really, really excited that I get to rescue an amenable and bring her home into my family, hopefully. Um, I really hope this one works out. If not, I'll find somewhere else, but I just really have a good feeling about this one. So yeah, I will let you guys know on my Instagram if anything changes and keep you updated. But yeah, so that concludes my haul, right? Yes, that is the end of my haul video. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Again, just to like put this disclaimer out there, I told myself I'd stop making them and here I am. <laughs> I'm not trying to brag or be like, look at all the cool things that I get because I'm rich and or I get sponsorships. Like I really do work very hard for the money that I make with jobs and YouTube and it's just, it's a lot and keeping up with sponsors. I literally have a whiteboard over there full of things that I have to do. Um, to keep my like, well they're not really sponsors, but because I'm giving them something too with advertising, but you get the point, like it is it is a give and take and it's a lot of work. Um, it's incredible and it is all thanks to you guys and so I'm in no way trying to shove this in your face like look at all the stuff I get. It's it's like look how fun! Yay! We can all be happy for one another. I watch your haul video, you watch mine. I love watching all the people's horsey haul videos. It's just like wow, look at all the things I could have. And um, since I leave links down below, I I think it's really helpful if you find something that you like you can find it I have links to stuff like this and the stuff like this all down below so you can get whatever you want am I posting for a thumbnail maybe I just I cannot be more excited about this little ball I slept with it because I was like one day it'll be a dodge hopefully one day soon so I want to thank you guys so much for watching this thank you so much for such an incredible incredible year our YouTube family has grown so freaking much it's absolutely astounding to do it organically alone and like it's been nothing but me and you guys that have been building this <laughs> and it's incredible the opportunities that you guys have given me and I just could not be more thankful for that and I hope that you all had a wonderful Christmas and if you celebrate it just an amazing year I know 2017 has been rough for a lot of people and it was definitely for me but wasn't as rough as 2016 you know so I'm counting on 18 <laughs> to be better because I'll be 20 and 18 <laughs> 20 years old <laughs> Hmm. Anyway, I just, I can't thank you guys enough for everything that you do for me. So just keep that in mind. If you have not done anything today, you have made me happy. So I just want to thank you. If you've watched all the way through this little tangenty rant, you can comment asparagus down below. Make your pee smell bad. Rude! But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If I say that one more time, I'm gonna throw this ball at my face. It's, uh, it's been a day. But um, thank you guys. Subscribe if you aren't already. Join the squad fam, because now I'm PewDiePie. Have a good rest of your day. Best of luck in 2018. And I hope I see you guys on the other side. Goodbye! Hi guys, it's Jill, and today... <gasps> I'm having the hiccups. <laughs> also, um, also, it is a... Uh, uh, okay. Oh my god, if I keep hiccuping throughout this entire video. If they already, my neighbor is just like wandering around. What are you doing, bro? Is he okay? He's old. Um, so anyway. Oh my god, I'm a mess. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Down, Daniel. Down, Daniel. I've killed someone. It's just kidding. I was making fun of those rappers that have like a teardrop. No? Okay. As for a bit, as for a brush, with a huda, with a huda. To get out of there! Stop it! Hmm. I don't like it when my cabinets move by themselves.